Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I am taking you on a day in my life when I got blue color done for my hair. Hi, this is Jamie Gandhi. I'm an image consultant, a style curator and a sustainable style advocate. So these are my original hair. The first step I did was I was sitting with my hairstylist. Her name is Machi. And we are going to discuss on what part of my hair I want to get the color done. I want to get the under hair done, not the total hair because I'm getting a blue color done. It's an extremely experimental color. So I don't want my whole hair to be blue. I'm very scared. So Shmachi is currently showing me what part she'll do and how it's going to look. I'm all smiling right now but trust me I was super scared Matlab, I am fattu when it comes to hair color and all done I absolutely love my hair so I was so scared I must have asked her like 10,000 times if it's gonna look good on me <laughs> they have started the bleach process now because I have black hair on black hair to get any color done you need to dye them to you know blonde or ash so that silver thing so I have proactively gotten an ash grey or an ash blonde I don't know how, what it's called I forgot basically when this blue color wears out you'll come to know but for now they are bleaching my hair now I'll do a pros and cons after a month of my hair color is done because I don't know how they are I don't have the pros and cons list for you but for now so if my mother knew the whole process, she will say that I'm a Meaning, I'm a Gujarati and this means that I'm proactively spoiling my hair. After the bleach is applied, this UFO sort of a ring is to give heat to your hair so that the bleach is, you know, uh, is on your hair, adds warmth to your hair. I don't know the process. But I also got my laptop because this whole process took like 4-5 hours and I had work. It was a Monday morning so I had to work. I got this done. See, this is the blonde. She called it ash blonde. I don't know why, but this is the ash blonde. Which she's lightening it up to more ash color. So it's going to be silver. So when my blue color wears off, I'm going to look like it's going to. I'm going to have half silver hair. I'm going to have salt and pepper. Wow, I love salt and pepper hair. <laughs> but they are bleaching it again because apparently my hair is too black and too thick, and they had to bleach it again. Bleach itself, I feel, is so harsh on your hair and skin and I'm getting it done second time. Today, because um, food is not allowed in the salon to eat and with, with a juice, I could quickly wear my mask up and down. Singapore was very strict right now. And while the UFO ring is on my head, <laughs> I quickly had my juice. Machi here is explaining me how she had to double bleach and lighten my hair. So now this is the perfect lightening that she wanted. The next step is to remove the bleach and then I am telling you it was super scary once my hair is washed to see that okay the bleach is still there. When you go for a haircut, I, this process of hair washing by someone else, I love it. It just feels like so luxurious that someone else is washing your hair. And if right now someone could read my mind, my mind was saying, Jenny, you have gone absolutely crazy to get your hair this color. And I kept on telling Machi that, you know, this is gold, this is blonde, this is blonde, I will look bad. And she said, just keep quiet, let the blue color come. So, can you see my hair? I was totally scared. See, this is the under hair, what I meant. I don't know how to explain it to you, but the second layer of my hair is what I got the color done and the first layer is still the black so the under layer is where I got this it's not going to stay gold it's going to go blue and the rest of my hair is black but at this very moment scared very scared this is the color mixing process so this white color is actually that she's mixing is actually blue color I always thought that whatever color you're applying is what the mixture will look like. Then I realized that, oh, this white color is actually the blue color mixture. So, wow. <laughs> but now they are actually applying the color and it just gives me a little satisfaction that, okay, now that blue color will be visible. I 
I in my head had separated myself from my this part of the hair. I was just looking at it through my video, also recording for all of you to show my day. So I was like, okay, this is not my hair. I'm just watching a video. <laughs> I had separated myself from my hair. Does it make sense? But I did that. Okay, now the final hair wash and the blue will be visible. I am like I am praying so hard right now that that blue looks nice. This is the hint of the blue. In wet hair the blue is not that visible, but I like it. It's just that under. Can you see the black and the blue? See, so my original hair is on top and then there's blue. I got a quick haircut done like a trim because my hair is very heavy so I thin them. I know a good problem to have but that's the color. See the smile, the glint in my eyes. I was so happy. She's quickly blow drying my hair so I can see the effect but okay I was really happy with the color. See the ends. So when I leave my hair open it the blue just shines through my ears and uh, if I am tying my hair half then I can see so this is the hair from back full black and see the under of the hair is blue I really don't know why I keep on forgetting ending my blog that I have to do it separately but this is it I hope you liked my day on how I spent five hours coloring my hair I'm definitely going to do a pros and cons after a month but because I want you to get used to the color see how it works on Indian hair before I can give you any suggestion or any um, pro and cons list of what I think about it but for now this was my day if you have liked what you've seen so far please give this video a big fat thumbs up and comment below how did you think do you ever color your hair I don't color to hide my grays I'm pretty okay with that I just wanted to experiment so that's the blue and I do something crazy for every birthday Friday was my birthday 9th July and I got this color done for that maybe midlife crisis <laughs> Next Thursday's video is I'm going to share how I got ready for my birthday. Here are the snippets and do join in. Once again, if you have liked what you've seen so far, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any other video ideas. I'm going to leave the 10% discount for my code here, especially for my YouTube audience. Bye-bye till I see you next time.